Hello everyone, how are you all doing? In this video, we are going to talk about the iOS 18 Beta 3. My name is Jay, you are watching Tech Hyped. If you are new here, consider hitting that subscribe button because I keep on making these type of videos for you guys and I am one of the first person making videos on these new iOS versions. So make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Let's get right into today's video and talk about iOS 18 Beta 3. What's new in this update and uh, here is the first impressions and what's different on iOS 18 beta 3 compared to the previous beta my name is jay you are watching tech hype let's get right in today's video so i have installed ios 18 beta 3 on my iphone 14 and this update came at around 1.4 gb i was coming from ios 18 beta 3 this is the iphone 14 pro iOS 18 beta 2 was definitely one of the most buggiest update that I have ever installed and iOS 18 beta 1 was definitely much better than this. The battery life was so horrible compared to the beta 1. I will be cover coming up in my follow up video later this week because right now it is too early for me to talk about battery life so I'll just skip that battery part. Let's talk about the performance and in general the bug fixes. There are a lot of bug fixes on iOS 18 beta 3 right off the bat that I noticed. The number one was Wi-Fi bug. The Wi-Fi bug is now finally fixed on iOS 18 beta 3. Then the next thing that is new is iOS 18 beta 3 brings dark mode icons to third party apps. It means that right now the dark mode icons were only limited to the first party apps which were app store and camera app settings and all. But now, dark mode icons are all over your iPhone to third-party apps as well. And the next change that is here is that there are bigger emojis and memojis at the same section of keyboard. The next thing that is fixed is standby. The standby feature was for not working properly and I had some issues with it. It was not just getting turned on. Sometimes I had to just restart my iPhone in order to get it worked. But that is now finally fixed on the iOS 18 beta 3. Then the performance seems to be pretty darn good as well. Fingers crossed, let's hope so that it stays the same. But the performance and animation scrolling through the UI and everything feels really, really nice. Then the next thing that we had a lot of bugs was control center. When reorganizing the control center, there were a lot of bugs that I encountered. There were a lot of bugs, like a lot. And all those bugs were actually more of graphic bugs. Sometimes one a control was getting overlaid on the other one so yeah those bugs are now finally fixed on the ios 18 beta 3 then the keyboard vibration haptics also feel a bit more vibration and what i mean by that the haptics feel a bit more hard to the press the vibration is a bit more increased compared to the earlier when you tap a particular space bar and uh, the return button those just feel a bit more tactile feedback. I have just discovered these new things on iOS 18 beta 3 as of now because it's just been out. I will be coming up with a hidden features and all video because I am working on one. So you don't have to miss that. I will be also coming up with separate reviews on iPhone 10R, 11, 12. And this was my iPhone 14 Pro first impressions on iOS 18 beta 3. Peace out and have a great day everyone. I will catch you guys in the very next episode.